right, here we are in the second video for lesson two. We're going to try something a little bit different today. We're just going to expand on these so it'll be a little bit faster to get into that. So right now we're going to identify and represent the values of digits in multi-digit decimals. Okay, so here you see a number and this is in unit form. You know it's in unit form because you have a number and then the place value. So the value and the place. Value, place, value, place, value, place, value, place, value, place. You see that? Okay, so um, what I want you to do is to represent this decimal number with your place value disks. Okay, so you might need um, your whole number disks and your decimal disks. I'm going to give you some time to do that. If you feel like you need a little bit more time, you can pause the video um, to give yourself more time or if you don't have your discs ready. Okay, go ahead and get started on that. Okay, um, hopefully you have your discs placed and you're ready. Um, you should have two tens, right? And remember, these are tens, so it's going to be ten inside the disc, right? Not any kind of decimal, just two tens like that. And then five ones, I'm not going to do them all, but five ones discs, six tenths discs, Remember, tenths disks are going to have the zero first because this is a decimal, so six of those. Eight hundredths, remember a hundredth is going to have the zero first because it's a decimal, and then zero one, so eight of those. And then three thousandth disks, right? And your thousandth disk is going to be zero point zero zero one so three of those all right did you do a good job if you didn't you can fix it up and make sure that you have those discs there okay now i want you to go to page 23 in your learn book and page 23 in your learn book is going to look like this yeah it's your place value chart Okay, so go ahead to page 23. Do not tear it out. Do not tear it out. We're going to leave it there. We're going to use it there. All right, and you're going to be able to show me your work. Remember, these are your notes that you need to have in place showing me that you did listen to the lesson before you take your mastery check. Okay, so now you have your place value chart, and now I'm going to put a number in there, and we're going to talk about that number. Okay, let me find my writing tools. I think they just fell down a little bit when I zoomed in. So let's try that again. Yay, there they are. Okay, so I'm going to put a number in here. I'm going to say two tens and five ones and six tenths. See our decimals right here? and eight hundredths and three thousandths. Okay, I put the decimal down here again just to help you so that you see it. Okay, what digit is in the tens place? We see that we have a two in the tens place. So what value is that? If it's two in the tens place, then the value is going to be 20, right? Two tens is the same as 20. Good. So five ones is the same as five, right? So this number together is 20 
five, right? Yeah, sorry about the bad handwriting. And then six tenths, right? That would be six tenths, and we would write that with a zero and a six, six tenths, and then eight hundredths, zero point zero eight, yeah? And then three thousandths, zero point zero zero three. Yeah, so now we see the value of each of them individually in our place value chart. What about writing them as fractions? So we can write 6 over 10, right? And we can write 8 over 100, 8 hundredths, yes? And then we can write 3 over 1,000, 3 thousands. Okay, you're writing this all on your place value chart. Not too big because you're going to do a couple more numbers, so make sure you're leaving some space there. Okay, all right, I'm going to clean that off. Make sure you have that written down. If not, you can always pause the video and do it, right? Giving you plenty of time to do that. All right, um, let's look at our next one. I think I can pull it up here. All right, here is um, a number in word form, right? We can read that number 14 and 790 thousandths. 14 and 790 thousandths. Go ahead and do that with your place value disks. And then write it in your place value chart. And then write the value of each part, just like how we did with decimals and fractions. So we're giving you a little bit of chance to do it a little bit on your own, right? 14 with place value disks and 790 thousandths. Okay, go ahead and have about a minute to work on that. Okay, don't forget you're writing it in decimal form and in fraction form. Okay, so we can see that 110 is equal to 10 and 4 ones is equal to 4. 7 tenths is written as 7 tenths if we're writing it as a number by itself, not with everything else together. Nine hundredths is written this way, and we have zero thousandths, right? So we could write zero, 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 or we could just write zero, okay? And then we could write zero over one thousand, but we could just write zero because that's a lot of writing when all we mean is zero. And then we have seven tenths as a fraction and nine hundredths as a fraction. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Make sure you have your notes filled out. You can always rewatch the video if you need to fill out more notes. All right. I'll see you in next video. Three, three.